What's going on, y'all? If you're up in Whistler with the fam and looking for a little outdoor adventure, you gotta check out the train wreck hike. It's an easy two kilometers round trip, about a mile and a quarter, on a new, well maintained trail that runs along the Chequemis River. Now, as you hike closer to the train wreck, you're gonna start to catch glimpses of that turquoise water. And there's plenty of side trails that'll take you right up to the rapids. Then just before reaching those scattered train cars, you get to cross the river on this cool new suspension bridge that was just built in 2016. And now you've arrived at these historic wrecked train cars slash outdoor art gallery for local graffiti artists. So back in 1956, a freight train heading south from Lillooet derailed from moving with too much speed into an area of the tracks that were under repair. The tapes on the engine were checked that tell how fast it was going, which showed it crashed going over double the speed limit for that section of the railroad. After the wreck, three boxcars were jammed into a rock cut blocking the line. The PGE's railway equipment couldn't get them to budge, so they enlisted a local lumber company to remove the cars with their heavy-duty logging machines. The damaged cars were then dragged up the tracks and rolled off into the woods where they have now become a tourist attraction. Even though they are mangled, some of them are still strong enough to climb up and stand on. The last two cars are a bit hidden at the end of the trail, and one of them looking the most beat up from the wreck. Now if you like this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to follow along for more, and I will catch you on the next one.